Good morning, my friends. Oops. Good, good morning, friends. I'm a purple Ooh. kitty. Meow. <laughs> Have a great day. It's like a shirt. She has a purple shirt on today. She's just rubbing it in that my purple shirt that I ordered. I have one, but it's a different color. I ordered a V-neck, and I don't know what they did, but everybody who ordered them said, oh, my God, they're so small, and they're so short. So that really bummed me out. Because as we all know, what is Mr. Wynn's favorite color? Purple. Purple. Today I have a kind of a wine, I don't know what they call it, in the T-shirts that for the school where we, we get them with the Cornerstone logo on them, they call it Raspberry. Fancy, schmancy. All right. Let's begin. I had to get my mind back together and figure out what I'm doing. This was our chart from yesterday. And yesterday, we said yesterday was Thursday. So if yesterday was Thursday, what does that mean today? I don't know. Let's sing and see. I can't even think of the song. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Yay! So, we said yesterday was Thursday, so there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's... F I almost said it. Froggy? Froggy. There's Thursday and there's Froggy. Can I have a Froggy? Ribbit, ribbit. We decided that we wanted speckles on them, so Miss Julie put speckles on all our frogs. <laughs> well, if it froggy kind of sounds good, the beginning of it, but I think what we want is Friday. Not French fry. Oof. <laughs> oh, especially if they're homemade French fries. There's a tavern. Well, they call it tavern. Not, I call it restaurant. In West, in Warwick right near the, on Route 1. It's either, I think it's Dan, Dan's or Dave's Tavern. Oh my God, they have homemade french fries. They are so good. And I don't want to eat a lot of fried fish, but I had fried food, but I had that. And I had fish and chips the other night when I went out with my sister. Bad, bad, bad Miss Joanne. So if today is Friday. Let me find my days of the week. Let me find my days of the week. Days of the week. Miss Julie, that is so cute. The party wants to go in the pond. Very cute. So today is Friday. So let's see how the song goes. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's. Wednesday. Hmm. There's Thursday and there's Friday and then there's Saturday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday and then there's Saturday. Usually Mr. Julian's favorite day of the week. Well, it still is, but... I have to go to my daughter's so we're going to celebrate her birthday and then I'm going to help her organize the house better because she's having a baby. Yay. So I thought today was going to be beautiful. I mean, it's still beautiful. It's not pouring out or anything like that, but it's not as sunny as I was thinking. Well, right now the sun has popped back out. So what is it if the sun is... Oh, I must have put that in here. What is it if the sun is um, the sun sometimes, but it's cloud sometimes? Do do you know what is it? Snowing? No. Is it windy? Trees aren't moving, so no. 
if it's a little bit of sun Whoops. and a little bit of cloud, we say it's partly cloudy because it's not always cloudy, but it's not always sunny. So if we wanted to say it another way, we could say it's partly sunny. But for some reason, they say partly cloudy. So here it is. Ta-da! Today is Friday. The weather is partly cloudy. Except for right now, the sun's out. Mr. Wynn, can it be French Friday and Friday? Yes, we will. That's what it is, French Friday. We're going to make it something for every day of the week. <laughs> Monday can be meatball day. I don't know. <laughs> Today is French Fry Friday. Yay! Hi, I just had to pause for a minute. Um, let's figure out what day today is. Because we know it's... Friday. Uh, French Friday, Miss Joanne. Well, I, I know I said what day, but I meant the date. Oh, okay. It is French Fry Friday. <laughs> that Miss Julie. <laughs> she's crazy. She's a wackadoodle. We're all the way, if you can see. We are all the way. Oh, it still has a glare. Down to here. Oh, look at that maze. Almost over. I like oh, maze. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Omari, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good what comes after twenty? Remember, they're all going to start with twos right now, and the. the the ones column, we're at zero. What comes after zero? Will we count? Zero, one. So we want a card that says two, one. Ta da! 21. Today is the 21st first birth, first birthday, day of May. Today is Friday, May 21st. 2021. 20, and we, even though we're going to have some hot weather coming soon, we are still in spring. We are still in the season of spring. A lot of times spring feels like, well, let me take this one down. Miss Julie's going to kill me because I'm going to put new holes in her new thing that she just put up. Spring means or feels warm and rainy. It often is, especially, you know, the April time. In the spring, I wear a t-shirt and a raincoat. Yeah. You never know, like we had a cool May, so I wish I had long sleeves on a few days in here, but I kept my sweatshirt on like I have it on today. Then there are times it's raining, so you need your raincoat or an umbrella. In the spring, I see butterflies. Oh, that's right, I have to order our butterflies so we can grow them. And kites. In the spring, I smell. We use our nose to smell. And back here, we use our eyes. I see, I smell flowers. Because they're all coming up. Some don't come up right away. Some take a little bit more time. What did I do with my pushpin? I know I put it over here. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I guess I didn't put it over there. It's over here. Oh, what did I do with the other one? There's two on it. That's the other pushpin. I have the one, but I don't have the other one. Let's see if I can get it close to being in the same spot. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what I get for taking that off the border. Off the wall. Gotta be here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. What? Oh, that was up there. All right. Yeah, we'll find it later. Probably find it by, you know, sticking my hand right on it. We have been working on the letter J. We've been doing a lot of names. Jeremiah. Josiah, Justin, 
Joanne, Julie, lots of names. In other words, clothing, we have jeans. Sometimes people call their t-shirts a jersey. Or maybe I'm just dating myself. As I fix my bangs, jersey. Then we have foods. Like jam, <laughs> jelly beans, jelly bean. and there are animals. Right here I have a jellyfish. Not something you want to come across. Well, it'd be cool to see as long as you're not like getting stung by it. That not so fun. So, and our color is... number is 10. I'm going to clap to it instead of counting those. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's nice and easy. We'll have to pick out new stuff for next week. So we are still... Oh, I found the other... I found the other push bin. I'm going to put it in right here so I... Don't lose it again. And I almost found it with my hand. Uh-oh. We've been talking about oceans, and I was going to go on to something else today just because I was sick of it, but actually this is kind of cute. So here are some of the words, because this is from the, our unique library, our curriculum. And if we're, to, if we're talking about the ocean, we're, we're seeing it. You see all the animals, you see the waves, you see the water move. Then there's claws, parts of like crabs. This is a lobster. That's how they pick up stuff. A lot of times when you buy the lobster out of grocery store and stuff, they have uh, rubber bands or something around the so the claws don't get you. Or while they're in the tank, they're not fighting other lobsters. Because they're very, I think they're territorial, are they not, Miss Julie? What's lobsters that? territorial? I do not know. Teeth. I can't show you by but there's your teeth. I don't know. We'll have to see why teeth fits into the story. And we have a fish. Oh, not high enough. A fish. Oh, I should have shown this one first before we showed you the claw, because there's the actual lobster. Yum, yum, yum. I love lobster. Sometimes I, I wish I could love vegetables more so I could become a vegetarian and not eat meat, but can't do it. A wave. That's when the ocean water comes crashing into the shore. But if you were way out in the ocean, you can still see waves. You just don't see them crashing into the shore. Then we have, oh, we just looked at the tentacles. The part That's the part that hangs down, the tentacles. That's how they sting you, or sting fish that they're going to eat. Shark! Shark! They can hurt people. But they usually are out in the, well, they've been coming closer, but they're very hungry. They eat a lot of other animals in the ocean. Color. We're going to talk about colors. And the ocean is made of water, salt water, but water. That's what the wave is crashing in. It's just the water coming in. Aw, this one's cute. Sea turtle. When we were in the country of Bermuda, we went to a sea turtle farm where they rescue and, and um, rehabilitate them and they also have they also, you know, have turtles born there so they can help repopulate the waters around Aruba. Crab. He has claws too. Crab. Ocean. 
That's a cute picture. It's got fish. The tentacles and the and the jellyfish hanging down. It has an octopus and some starfish and shells. Oh, here we have our jellyfish. Our turtle has a shell on its back. You can knock on it like it's hard like that. And it has a room for it to bring its head inside the shell. And I think his feet, I think everything, so he can protect himself from something that's trying to eat him, because the shell is hard. We have a whale. There's all different kinds of whales out there. But it's kind of cool to see them when they, if you go on in a whale wash and stuff, they, they come straight up and kind of crash down because they have to come up and breathe then they go back down but there's all different kinds of whales leg that's what we use to walk that's what holds our feet on our body leg that's where mr wing gets cramps during the night because you're not drinking enough water ah the great barrier reef that's a huge reef where a lot of fish live around off of australia it's beautiful. A lot of people go there to scuba or snorkel. Just have to be careful because a lot of white sharks live. A lot of sharks live there. Great whites. And the coral. That's what grows. That that's all living stuff. So let's begin our story. It's called Ocean View, and this is by Molly Malik. Illustrated by Travis Schaefer, that's the person who drew it. I've heard that name a lot. Ocean View, let's begin. Put that little piece in. I, I see the ocean. The ocean is full of many things, it sure is. I see the water. I see water with waves. That's usually what it looks like when it's come crashing into the into the where the seashore is, where people sit and when they go to the beach. Oh, this is what you find around a reef, especially the great the great uh, barrier reef, because the water's pretty color of turquoise. And there's all your coral growing, so you get all different kinds of fish growing around there. Just eat clownfish. I don't know all the names. I'm not going to try and say them all. Aha! This is a good picture. I see a jellyfish. I see a jellyfish with tentacles. So there's the jellyfish, and there's his tentacles. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. I see a shark. I see shar a shark with teeth. It's got real teeth down there that he uses to bite and grab onto things it wants to eat. And bring it in so the other teeth in the back can chew it all up. <gasps> this is a great picture. I see a whale. I see a whale with a tail. Well, we don't quite see the tail yet, but it's still not out of the water. But that's what I meant when they kind of breach the water and go up and then land again because they have to come up to breathe. I see a lobster. I see a lobster with claws. That's a different kind of lobster than what we're used to here in New England. This is a great picture. I see a crab. Look at him. He's looking. He's getting ready to get you. I see a crab with legs. Yeah, he does. Looks like he has six. And the, well, eight if you count those as part of that. 
There's his claws. Mari's whining because every, every shoved everything off his tray on the floor. I see a sea turtle. Isn't he beautiful? I see a sea turtle with a shell. That's a shell that he can sick his, uh, pull his head back into so his head doesn't get bit off. He has it out now because he's trying to eat and see where he's going. I see a coral. I see a coral in the Great Barrier Reef. All different kinds of coral. Very pretty color. They actually have coral that is big and it looks just like a brain. They call it brain coral. I see the ocean. The ocean is full of many things. Oh, the end. I was going to go over a bunch of ocean. Here's some pictures. Let's see about what we can see in the pictures. This is what we were talking about, the jellyfish with its tentacles. We didn't talk much about this, but this is an octopus. He has eight legs like that. Some people eat the... Eh, never mind. Manatee. You can go down to Florida and you can see those. I always wanted to go swim in the manatees. Clam. It opens up so we can get things to eat and stuff. And when we eat them, we cook them and so they open up automatically and then you eat the inside. Oh, dolphins. They really jump up. They're friendly. They help protect other animals in the water from sharks. They and sharks fight. But he's made to fight with the sharks because he's got a pointy nose, so he'll go after the shark with his pointy nose really fast and smash into him. Ah, a seahorse. Isn't he cute? He looks kind of like a horse, horse without legs. Starfish. Called that because he looks like a star. But if you flip over, remember we saw another story, it's all little legs underneath. There's another whale, way up in the water. Isn't that beautiful? There's our sea turtle. There's the clownfish. There's Nemo. Clownfish. I love these. Here's a blue tang. There's a very, there's a lot of those in the Caribbean. Isn't he beautiful? His, his colors are beautiful, so bright. Uh-oh, he's probably swimming away from Mr. Shark. This is a blowfish. If it feels threatened, it blows itself wide up. It has, like, sharp things sticking all out of it, so nobody will eat it. Oh, I guess, and if that's the cards we have. I guess if there's two copies of everyone, so we can use them for matching. We could go on and do counting, but I think I'm just going to end it here. I hope you all have a great rest of the day, a great weekend. I haven't said this in a long time. Stay cool, because it's supposed to get hot. Usually I'm always, stay warm, stay warm, but now it's going to be, stay cool. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again on Monday. Miss Julie, would you like to say goodbye? Hi, friends. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Yay, Monday, 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 Monday. You're good to me. Bye.